Dave, if I can ask you, what's your opinion of Victoria so far? Absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. I feel right at home already. Uh, just the opportunities, the facilities, the weather, you know. Fair enough, today it's a bit it's a bit gloom, but that's Ireland in the middle of July, so <laughs> sweet, mate. I'm Ted Godwin, and this is LSB TV. Time to support local football. Today on LSB TV, we return to the Victoria Highlanders practice field at the University of Victoria to learn more about the club's new partnership with Sheffield Wednesday. Well, through um, Global Imaging Sport, an organization in North America, several clubs in Britain build relationships with uh, Canadian and uh, American clubs. So. We used that avenue to begin discussions with Sheffield Wednesday about establishing a formal connection with our club here in Victoria. And as a result, uh, Max Ragg and Jamie Hadfield, two staff members on the academy in Sheffield Wednesday, were out last week to do some coaching and to discuss some of the other possibilities of this relationship. So it's very exciting because, first off, we do have plans to launch uh, Highlanders uh, Academy in the fall. And one of the elements of this relationship is that we will share content with their professional academy. So we'll get lots of advice and specifics around how they train their players for their professional club. We also talked with assistant coach Bob Stankoff about the Highlanders keepers and his expectations for the season. Well, obviously to make the playoffs would be great our first season back in PDL. We've got a really good veteran squad here with some good youth mixed in as well, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be fighting for the playoff spots. Brandon Watson, Yep. he was uh, your starting keeper for last year, but he's looking at a little competition this year, is that right? Yes, he is. We've got, um, we've got a good crew of young goalkeepers coming through with Simon Norgrove and Max Brannick are both in the fold this year. Um, both of them are 17 years old, turning 18 this year, and they're, they both are very, very capable goalkeepers. It won't be an easy first choice of every week for Brandon, that's for sure. He's have to work hard and then when Nolan comes in in June as well it's not going to just be automatic for them they're going to have to work hard in training every week and prove that's their spot. And how do you feel about that return to the PDL? Oh it's brilliant like it was it was it was necessary to be in the PCSL last year and it is what it is but it's PDL is where we always want to be and it's uh, it's a very good very good league. Top amateur league in North America and it's great to be part of it. New to the Highlanders roster Sean Prizeman offered us some insights on the team and his career so far. What uh, clubs have you played for before this? Uh, I was at uh, Peninsula College uh, in Port Angeles for a year. I was over there for a year. Um, before then, I was uh, in an FAO football development course for a year, and that's what led to me going uh, on a scholarship over there. And then when I went back, I was with Calista United for, for a while in the Lancaster Senior League, and then I just went and done my... You wait for B coaching badge, and I, I've been through majority of my coaching badges, so I had a two-year visa for Canada. And my old coach from Port Angeles, Can Canyon Anderson, got me in contact with Dave, and uh, I wound up here. What do you expect to see for this season for this team? What do you think this team's going to be at the end of the year, end of the season? To be honest, like I, I play to win, so I don't, ex you know, what I mean, I expect nothing less from the team, from myself, from everyone here. I don't think anyone in our whole squad is is going out to any game thinking about coming second place you know what I mean so for me for me it's, it's, it's that top one position I don't care what people say we put in the walk that that's where it's gonna go so uh, this is probably a bit of an obvious question but Euro 2016 is coming up this summer what team will you be following yeah, and, and who do you expect to win um, listen Ireland all the way plain and simple yeah we've a hard group but um, Hopefully, hopefully we do do a bit. I can see us if we keep uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic quiet. I don't see Sweden bothering us. Uh, Belgium company was injured today. Don't think he'd be back. They're terrible. They don't play well together. The only th thing is Italy. A win, a win, and a draw, and we could be we could be going places. We'll, we'll wait and see. I'm not saying who I want. I want Ireland to win it. I don't play in simple. In other news. Former Highlander Brett Levi is a key part of the unbeaten WFC2 team, currently in second place in the USL Western Conference standings, with two games in hand on LA Galaxy who lead them by only two points. 
23-year-old Levi has played all but 30 minutes in WFC 2's matches so far this season, the second highest on the team, and he's done so in an entirely new role, that of left back. He played his college soccer with Saskatchewan Huskies and spent two summers playing in the PDL, first with the Highlanders, where he helped claim the Western Conference Championship in 2013, and then the Whitecaps U23 side in 2014. Levi was one of the standout performers for WFC2 in his debut USL season last year and his own first year as a pro. A torn ligament in his left ankle suffering a game against Portland in July saw the young Canadian forced to miss 10 weeks of the season, but he still finished third on the team with four goals and clocked up more than 1,000 minutes in his 20 appearances in Vancouver's midfield. PDL Northwest Division News. Play begins for the Premier Development League across North America for 2016 this Saturday, May 7. Lane United from Eugene is at Portland Timbers, and the Highlanders are at Kitsap Pumas in Bremerton, Washington. The Northwest Division champs for the past two years have had some good results in preseason friendlies, including a one-all draw against Seattle Sounders 2, the USL farm team, played in front of over 1,300 spectators. Their final friendly this past weekend was against a strong NCAA Seattle University, led by head coach Peter Fewing, who served as the head coach at the Kitsap Pumas, winning the PDL championship with the club in 2011. The Pumas will be looking for goals from forward Mike Ramos, recently re-signed for the 26th season after failing to catch on, being drafted by Toronto FC in 2015. Ramos scored three goals in 11 appearances for the Pumas last season. Also fighting for a starter spot, Javier Castro, who has been training with Real Cotaclan of the second division in his native Mexico. Castro also made 11 appearances for the Oklahoma City Energy of USL last season. LSB TV will be heading to Bremerton to catch the season opener. Tune in next week for exclusive footage of the game and our first road trip of 2016. Go to highlandersfc.ca and buy your tickets directly from our website. Pickup for uh, season tickets will be prior to the home opener here at the stadium here at UVic. There'll be a table set up where folks can come by, get their season tickets, get in the gate, have a burger, possibly a beer, enjoy the sunshine and hopefully a great performance by the Highlanders. And now, we'd like to share a little surprise that just arrived today. Fresh from our suppliers in the United Kingdom, we introduce the 2016 Lakeside Boys Scarf. Show your support for the team with this summer weight custom designed masterpiece. Available exclusively to members of the Lakeside Boys. LSB TV is a production of Lakeside Boys Supporters Group, a member organization of the Independent Supporters Council. All opinions expressed are those of the speakers. No endorsement should be implied from the Lakeside Boys, the ISC, or Victoria Highlanders FC. If you enjoyed the show, click like and subscribe below.